And this week is National Poison Prevention Week, an effort to raise awareness about poison dangers and to help prevent exposure. Poisoning was the leading cause of injury-related death for adults 25 to 64 years old in Illinois in 2022. And for over 70 years, the Illinois Poison Center has provided vital information and resources to families in an effort to save lives. Joining us now to learn more about those resources is Dr. Michael Wall, Medical Director of the Illinois Poison Center, or the IPC. Thank Thank you for being with us, Doctor. No, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Let's talk about the most common household products that the IPC receives calls for. It's so good to just know about these so we can prevent any type of injury. Yeah, you know, I, I think for poisoning, um, it really depends on the age. But children under the age of five really are the ones who are going to be most affected by poisoning of household products. And you can see that in the most common um, substances in that age. So analgesics, which we think of as Tylenol or Motrin in that age, but also cleaning substances is number two, cosmetics is number three, and then foreign bodies and then dietary supplements and vitamins round out the top six. So those, those common everyday items are the things that kids get into in their exploratory exposures. And often stuff we just leave around the house, maybe not thinking about it. So what are some of the other common household products that people might not think of or realize can be harmful? Yeah, you know, I think really common ones that we don't think of are houseplants. Um, there are a lot of houseplants that can cause a lot of irritation um, if they're eaten by small children. Um, and then cough and cold preparations. There was a recent study that showed that uh, cough and cold preparations in certain populations really is one of the second, I think, the second leading cause of death in children under the age of five after opioids. Uh, so wow. common things that we see in the, in the house um, can actually have fatal consequences. Oh, wow. Well, something I didn't know before today was that the Illinois Poison Center has a toll-free confidential expert hotline where people can call, speak to a toxicology expert. That's a great resource to have. Uh, can you tell us when someone should call this hotline, when they should reach out? Yeah, so I think any time that there's a concern, right, there's no issue that is too big or too small for us to handle. We are staffed up front by nurses and pharmacists, so trained professionals who get extra training in toxicology. We also have um, a backup of um, medical toxicologists for those really severe cases that end up in the ICU. Well, one of the th reasons that we're talking about this right now and having this discussion together is that prevention is key to stopping these accidental poisonings. So give us your best safety tips, specifically for parents, can caregivers who are watching, who say, I wanna do something. How can I protect my kids proactively? Yeah, so the danger time for kids is really 15 months to about four years where they are exploratory and get around. Um, and I really can't tell the difference between food and non-food products. So what we recommend is to keep things high, out of reach, and more importantly, out of sight, so that kids are not going to be likely to try and get into those issues. Um, and that can range anywhere from a cannabis edible to medications or cleaning products. When I was growing up, my mom would keep the cleaning products underneath the kitchen sink. And that really is not the place um, to store those issues. They really should be in a high cabinet, high up, out of sight, um, and out of reach of small children. Absolutely, kids get into so much. Sometimes we can't watch every second, so it's a good reminder. So I know there's so much more that we couldn't get to. How can people find out more information, more free information? Uh, tell us more about those options. Yeah, so they can always call us at 1-800-222-1222, but we also have a website, www.illinoispoisoncenter.org. We get about 500,000 page views a year, so it's pretty well-traveled. And on that website, we have about 30 of the most common minimally toxic exposures that kids get into. And that's another way of finding information um, if people don't want to call. That is also, again, free um, information on how to take care of children. All right, awesome. And if you missed any of that information, number one, it's on your screen right now. Also, we'll link all this for you on cbschicago.com just so you can have an easy way to get the access to this information that you need. Dr. Michael Wall, Medical Director of the Illinois Poison Center, thank you for helping us out. Thank you for speaking with us today. All right, thank you. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you have a good one too. Thank you.